was around the age as junior, I first realized I could be pro when I was in the national team and I did really good tests uphill and then I went to the national selection, two races in the Alps and the mountains and then I realized I was a pretty good climber. So, yeah. My love for climbing came actually from trainings in the mountains. I would always love to train and ride my bike in the mountains in nice sceneries and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it makes me daydreaming and that's what I like. Also being here up in a mountain in a little apartment with, uh, with, three, uh, with three riders, uh, with, with Tom and Sam and then with the Swanee, it really makes a, a good group for, to, to go to the Giro in my eyes. It's really good for the focus. Yeah, last year was a really hard period for me with the overtraining syndrome. Uh, makes me realize that I had to change a little bit my mindset and my way of um, training and being a pro pro rider and uh, it was also good for me to realize how much I love the sport and uh, for me it was a wise test. I think last year uh, I was a lot of responsibilities were in my hands and it's I think uh, the DNA of the team that uh, the team takes the responsibility about everything like nutrition, training, uh, yeah, the whole big plan and uh, that's what I needed and uh, a really big structure around me to get the best out of me. Now it's, uh, we work into the Giro and then uh, with Tom it would be really nice to do uh, big results with him as leader, I'm really confident and for me, uh, it's to be there in the best, most, best possible shape, do a good training camp and then to help him as long and as much as possible in the mountains. My, my dream as a child and as a under 22 rider was always to win the Tour de France and it's a really big dream and maybe it's impossible to achieve but it stays in dreams so uh, it stays my dream. <laughs>